Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Mjengo Ha video and today we are at the heart of the capital at the Kenyatta Avenue Ngong Road Viaduct project which has resumed after a long extended period of delay and uh, it has been trending quite a bit because of these pillars that you can see behind me which have raised a few suspicions but they are just trying to cordon off this area as works on the columns that will elevate the highway leading to Ngong Road have started and they are currently drilling the piles. We'll talk more in details about the project. We'll give you updates on, on uh, the status of where they are and uh, why exactly it took that long period of time for the works to resume. Welcome. If you're new to the channel, please make sure you subscribe and let's go. There have been several initiatives to decongest the Nairobi Central Business District and the Kenyatta Avenue Ngong Road Viaduct is among the most outstanding ones in recent times. Another interesting development, which we covered in its early stages, is the Haile Selassie underpass, which is said to change how we approach pedestrian traffic management. We are very excited to see what it will look like once done, so we can witness its impact and better understand projected challenges such as drainage, ventilation and the security of pedestrians especially at night. The Kenyatta Avenue Ngong Road Viaduct was also designed to address a direct challenge and if you've ever driven and had to brave the traffic on Ngong Road or Kenyatta Avenue, you'd know the feeling. The constant gridlocks at the roundabouts and intersections, the hours lost and the frustration of a commute that should be short but feels endless. It's a daily battle for thousands of Nairobians, especially those commuting to and from Upper Hill, and it's a bottleneck that has held back the efficiency of the city for far too long. The Kenyatta Avenue Ngong Road Viaduct was always long overdue. A viaduct is an extensive structure which normally consists of multiple spans that carries a road or a railway over a valley, low-lying area or even another road. A flyover, on the other hand, is generally a bridge that allows one road to cross over another, usually at a junction, to avoid traffic congestion like the Ngong Road Naivasha Road flyover. The first viaduct starts right here next to the Kenyatta Avenue roundabout with the Huru Highway, and it's a dual carriageway designed to soar high above several critical intersections, including those with the processional way. Nyerere Road and State House Road before it touches down near the Shell Petrol Station in front of Integrity Center. If you've been past Milimani Law Courts, you've likely seen those imposing concrete columns and steel decking that have been standing there for a while. That's the other end of the project. This second viaduct will join Gong Road, allowing a seamless flow of vehicles heading into the CBD completely bypassing the ground level traffic and this will be very good news for those leaving the Milimani Law Courts area heading to Ngong. As part of this comprehensive plan, the project also includes crucial drainage works, dedicated cycling lanes and new pedestrian sidewalks on the ground level, making it a holistic upgrade for the city's urban mobility. We're also seeing road expansions in other parts of this corridor, including the areas around the Roads Ministry and Maji House. Once complete, a trip that used to take up to 40 minutes in this corridor could be reduced to less than 10 minutes. The main contractor is in the crucial pile driving phase here at the Kenyatta Avenue end, and the area is now cordoned off and CBD bound traffic will be fully shifting to the left side so that the works on the columns can continue safely. The hoarding is primarily masonry, a choice made because it is slightly cheaper than the huge precast barriers normally used and it doesn't interfere with the asphalt surface which could have been the case if they had to drill steel into the ground as they have had to do in some sections, especially the cross sections which will eventually be repaired. When the temporary walls went up, public speculation about land grabbing and illegal construction ran wild on social media. Kura had to step in and clarify that these were simply temporary safety barriers. A viaduct of this size needs a deep foundation to be stable and safe. 
pile foundations are like giant reinforced concrete nails driven deep into the earth to transfer the massive weight of the structure through weak soil to a more stable layer of rock or hard soil far below. Engineers truly enjoy this. They are also currently using a hydraulic breaker to excavate the rocky areas on the left side, which is part of a larger holistic upgrade. The Nairobi County Water and Sewerage Company, NCWSC, is the client with Warren as the contractor for the sewer line that is being expanded on the left side, which was previously a bit inside the road. The client for this undertaking is the Kenya Urban Roads Authority, Kura, as mentioned, and the contractor is CRBC, the same company that delivered the Nairobi Expressway and the SGR. They are very popular in these spaces. Kaziao Huku Asafi, and they are doing an amazing job at Talanta Stadium. Their capacity is next to none, and as always, there is a hope that Kenyan contractors are taking serious notes. The project is being overseen by the consulting engineers from the Runji Consulting Group, with engineer Benjamin Asin serving as the resident engineer. This project kicked off in 2021 with an original completion target of 2023 and was paused after the major column and steel works over Ngong Road were largely done, which right now have been serving as temporary hotels. The original 2.9 billion Kenya shillings budget is now likely outdated due to inflation and holding costs, which means the final cost paid by Kenyans will be much higher. The good news is that work is finally moving forward. The new completion target is early 2026, with no official handover date made public. This viaduct is a bold statement about Nairobi's future. It's a promise of a city that moves, a city that is built for tomorrow, today. We'll be here bringing you every update, every milestone, and every detail of this incredible mjengo. What do you think about this project regarding its delay and engineering? Share your invaluable thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to like, subscribe, and share to spread the gospel. Have yourself a fantastic day. Adios.